Well, it's a true story. Uh, it's based on a true story that happened several years ago um, concerning two women who were murdered and the detective who tried to solve their murder and tried to actually not only solve their murder, he thought one of them was a missing person before she became a murder victim. Um, and it's the confession of the title revolves around him extracting a confession from the girl's killer, um, a man called Christopher Halliwell. I don't think I've, I've been aware of it. It happened in about 2011, I think, or it became news in 2011. And um, no, I don't think I had known it. So I got sent it um, with the view to playing Steve Fulcher. Uh, Paul Andrew Williams, the director, sent me a couple of clips of Steve Fulcher from Channel 4 News and press conferences and stuff. Said, I want you to play this guy. So, I think mean, it's really interesting. It's a Jeff Pope script and see what you think. So that's when it, so sort of spring last year, okay. I guess. I met Steve, uh, yes, I did. Um, and I met Karen and Elaine as well. Um, I mean, obviously, I wasn't playing Karen or Elaine and as, as the person who was playing Steve that had specific interest for me. Um, I met him a few times, yeah, a few times. Uh, and his family, actually. And, uh, which is really invaluable to me, just to kind of to... I don't know, to, to understand him a bit, I guess, just to kind of, to get... to get him, I suppose, you know. I, I don't think there was any other reason other than he, he thought it was possible that he could find a missing girl. I mean, I didn't see any other ulterior motive in that. Um, no, I think he was a copper who was trying to find somebody, you know. I think, you know, when, when he was looking for Sean, he, as time goes on, obviously, it's, and it, it becomes less likely that that person is going to be alive, you know. But until, you know, I think his argument was if, if there's if there's a 5% chance someone is alive, I'm gonna, we have to work on the basis that they're alive until we know that they're dead. Um, you know, the question that he keeps asking um, is, look, if it was your daughter or your son, what would you want people to do? You know, and it, th what you wouldn't want them to do is give up and just assume they're dead. So I think he saw it um, as part of his duty, part of his job, to try and find this girl who had been missing for several days. Steve Fulcher asked one of his colleagues to come with him, write down everything that was said between him and Christopher Halliwell. And it reads like a TV drama. And it's kind of one of those scenarios that you think you, you couldn't make this up. You know, this is, this is right out of the pages of a TV or film drama. Um, and, it, and it wasn't. It was, it was what actually transpired between these two men. Um, and I'm sure to, well, to, to have someone confess or to have someone volunteer uh, another body that they're responsible for making is, um, is extraordinary, you know. And I think for Steve Fulcher it was an absolutely sort of mind-blowing moment of like, are, are you talking about another girl here? Um, for me to play those scenes was delightful because I got to work with Joe Absalom who was fantastic and both of us had a you know really fulfilling time over a couple of days doing those scenes because um, however dreadful the subject matter is you enjoy your work when you feel that you're working with someone really really good you know